So uh, I'm just going to show you a model how it will be. So this is the process which uh, these are all the steps of a process so let's see connector how it will be doing the process will be sent to connector it and the process syntax is checked based on the process transmission control queue it will be either it will be in wait or a hold or timer queue and then it will enter into execution and the process will be executing yeah once again wait queue in the sense it is wait for waiting for an execution hold in which case it will be in hold queue hold means like if there is any error or if you have put the uh, process in hold purpose say if you if you have submitted a job and and you want to run this job at a particular time you can put it on hold uh -huh. So if it is an error, it will come to a hold queue or uh, to run it in later time, sometime like it will be in hold queue. Okay. Yeah. And there is a timer okay, queue. Timer is obviously we are setting a time. Yeah. This is the time you want to set. And if you have any errors also, it will go to hold queue. Okay. So. Hello. There are multiple timing. Uh, I mean, like before execution, there is three types of queues. We can say wait and hold and timer. Okay, the timer is the one which uh, have the start parameter. Okay. Okay. Date and time we will mention. Wait is the one queue. This it is like very few seconds. It will be there if it is uh, in wait queue because it is. Until it gets established, the connection is established with S node, or if there is any uh, based on the license, the execution will be happening. Okay, at that time it will be yeah. in wait. Yeah, so okay. when, when if you the want, other side application is not responding for a long, then uh, what what will be the case? Other side application uh, is no, in the sense to yeah uh, to you no know, the receiver end is still that application is down. So what it will do? How long it will be wait? Uh, no, it will be there in wait queue. There is a retry options is there. I mean, like when you when you submit a process, it will wait okay. and it will be wait in wait queue, okay? And it will okay. keep on trying uh, to establish okay. connection. That is uh, okay. three seconds, I think. Uh, totally, eighteen times it will try. Short term and long term okay. tries are there. Retries. Okay. Short term okay. tries will be in three seconds. Uh, it is actually whatever you want. You can you can modify this 180 seconds or whatever like you want. You can have this retry retry based on your network settings. You, if you want to try it in every minute, the short term and ten minutes once the long term, that you can do. Okay, if it is maximum try 18 uh, tries are done, then what will be the next case? After that, it will fail. Stating this particular node is not uh, available, the process will fail. Okay. Okay. Does it will move to a hold queue or something? Error state or something like that? Yeah, it will be in error state. The process will end. It's stating. In hold queue with the error state. Right? Retrace exhausted. That is what the message you will get. And the file will be, okay. and the process will be stopped. Stopped. Okay. okay. Okay, and these are secure plus, which, uh, which is like an option of uh, security. Okay, it can have a, a connector connection need not be a secure plus connection. Okay, this is an option for uh, better security. Okay, what is the MFT managed file transfer? So, so. Managed file transfer is a term. Uh, used that is like uh, you could say i don't have to manage it it is all automatically it is managed 
okay and this is uh, this is uh, they are referring this particular thing to b2b when you integrate this to other applications it will automatically it will start doing everything automatically that is what is the managed file transfer connect that it is a managed file transfer tool okay and that is uh, you know when like you can have an adapter cd adapter in integration and that you can in this particular connector a uh, standalone node can communicate to the b2b integrator and from there you can send to several other third parties that is the main part of managed file well transfer they would say this is a key what to say this is a a unit connector it is a unit of it it is a unit of it so uh, first level of authentication you know i mean like uh, the first security level is uh, user authentication and netmap checks these are all the basic checks of connectivity but the secure plus will give you a full security for a, a particular connectivity connection so there is less uh, transport layer security and socket layer security and sts that is station to station now the station to station is uh, removed from connectivity because that is uh, in future it will not be there okay in some cd uh, latest versions uh, sts is removed and we will have only ssl and tls and these are all the encryption algorithms which is uh, listed here symmetric aes des and 3d yes these are all the algorithms which is used by connectivity ips secure proxy these are all out of topic again okay? secure proxy you know like, these are all different tools proxy in the sense like uh, something uh, allowing in other name exactly yeah not other name here it is uh, you you could be adding this particular uh, yeah i mean you have a to b you are trying to connect from a to b you have a user in a okay and this particular user is a unix user i'm just giving an example okay to make you understand proxy proxying of this unix user in windows side windows user uh, there will be a windows user who will be acting as this unix whatever the unix user wants this uh, with the help of, with the access levels of the windows user you can okay. actually achieve whatever you want i mean you in the sense the unix user i am a unix user and you are a windows user okay i am trying to reach your system i am I, since i am a unix user i will not have privileges in the windows uh, windows and what connector it does is like it maps uh, the unix user to the windows user so once you enter uh, the unix user enters the windows side of it side and the process takes control on the windows side and the user the predominant user uh, which is uh, representing the unix user will be a windows user so with, which whatever the access levels of this particular windows user we will be able to achieve uh, the pro what the process says that is proxy in in unix uh, i mean in connector it uh, these are all the some simple things i think this is uh, that's it i think because like we have we are deviating from cd so how do you feel uh, 